Hey everybody, Nick here, and today we got a little assembly and maintenance for you on this little guy right here. This is the Kaiser Minitherium. <laughs> so, um, this is an interesting piece. Uh, are we free spinning here? Oh man, every knife I've disassembled so far this morning has had a free spinning pivot. Uh, life isn't fair sometimes. He says, sitting in a happy room well fed and whatnot. Um, anyways, I digress. Uh, the, uh, but anyways, uh, the, this guy is a design by Elijah Isham and created by Kaiser Cutlery. Kaiser sent this guy along per my request, uh, full disclosure. Um, but there's that. Why are we flipping out here? This is a pain in the neck. And this is why free spinning pivots are not your friend. Okay, pivot is pulled. Now that looks like T6 down there. So let's T6 this out. Beautiful. And we are removed. Then the knife is disassembling itself in my hand as we speak. See? Told you. All right. Just a second here. Yeah. All righty. Uh, this guy is interesting. What do we got going on here? We have um, more parts than I expected. Well, I guess nested liners make sense here. It's actually well machined. Okay, yeah, no argument here. Let's go ahead and um, start cleaning things up. Blade here is nice and big. I'm told that I am at least partly responsible for the existence of the mini theorem because you know when i did my review of the mega theorem i asked directly you know come on guys it's a nice knife but make one a little smaller mini theorem and uh elijah has blamed me for this so um that's that's nice um always nice to make an impact in the world you know uh <laughs> hey nick what impact have you made i made the mini theorem <laughs> And Pocket Pekka is my other major source of change in the world. <laughs> Apparently, uh, well, that wasn't the thing before one review, and then I've spent a great deal of time unintentionally and intentionally making it a thing, so now it's a thing. Which is good, you know. Seriously, I, I, I look at if somebody could have on my grave, you know, he pocket, popularized the term pocket pecker. I, I can I can live with that, right? There are people who have accomplished less. Um, so, yeah. But all things will fade, alas. Someday in the distant future, knife makers may not know that term. They may return to a time of terrible pocket peckery. Only maybe someday in the, the, the grand archives of the, the, the global, you know, Dolphin Alliance or whoever's taken over at that point, um, the, the, we will find an archive of YouTube and some intrepid young knife maker will stumble across my videos and go, guys, <laughs> pocket pecker, come on. <laughs> but of course, he probably won't speak English. So, you know, it'll maybe be lost. Hopefully it translates well into, I don't freaking know, Icelandic. Mandarin, whatever we're speaking. Anyways, wow. Whenever the folks from Alpha Centauri speak. Yeah, it's been a long morning, even though it's not even 9 a.m. So I'm already a little bit <laughs> out of it. Uh, that's okay, though. Already rambling about aliens. Can go on the History Channel at this rate. All right, back at the ranch. Uh, let's go ahead and start the reassembly process here. Cleaned off the, and by the way, my knife disassembly toolkit. I have a whole video on that online, so feel free to check that out. But um, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to use some knife pivot lube here. It's uh, absolutely fine, and it works fine for bearings. Not super expensive, so there you go. Go ahead and rotate the bearings here. Come to think of it, I think this is a new kind of bearing cage from Kaiser. And there went my pivot. All right, whatever. Um, but anyways, I think this is a new kind of bearing cage. They were, uh, previously, I think they used something different. Uh, so maybe new factory, new supplier, something. I don't think I've seen it elsewhere either, so... You know, I always get the sense that the Chinese knife market is, uh, like Chinese knife makers... 
it's like one community. they probably all on like the same block or something like that. Because, you know, very often you'll see something show up one place, then it kind of moves down the road. For all I know, these are all one company. Like Kaiser, we, etc. I don't freaking know. We'll see. Wish I spoke Chinese, actually. That would make things a lot easier. I could just, like, call them up and just be like, yo, bro. Are you the same thing as <laughs> this other company? But alas, I do not. Let's go ahead and um, continue the reassembly process here by dropping this in place. Did I lubricate the other side there? I think so. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> we'll see. Down in the comments, you'll find out if I lubricate it or not. <laughs> See, sometimes it would be really nice to be able to just, like, rewind the video, and but then I'd have to go offline, and it becomes a whole thing, and then there's editing involved, and I just don't want to do any editing. So the thing is, you know, if I had to lubricate things, the, the stakes are low. Much like if you're raising cows in a valley, the stakes are very low. As opposed to if you're raising cows in Colorado, where the stakes are very high. Get it? Because they legalized it. No? That was hilarious. FYI. All right, moving along. Cows are, of course, more than steak. Potentially being morally relevant beings of their own. I don't take a strong stance on that. But uh, nevertheless, you know, it, it, it's a... Uh, the, the humor, I hope, even were I a cow, I, I would appreciate that pun if I spoke English. I could also learn cow. Like, first Mandarin, then cow. I don't feel like they'd have that much interesting to say, though. I'm going to be honest. The cows I've met are just, like, hanging out. I feel like they just want to talk about, like, grass. Although maybe, I don't know what cows are secretly thinking. Maybe they have hobbies. Maybe they're, like, you know, plane spotting, because they, not like the Great Plains, but like plane flying overhead. Maybe that's, like, super interesting to cows. Okay. I am completely off the rails at this point. I need another TA driver. Are you another TA driver? Yes. Yes, you are. All right. Great. Let's go ahead and put this here. All right. Yowza. This is... Just barely working out here. Okay, that's probably too tight, but let's see. That's not tight enough. Okay, I will continue tightening. This, my friends, is why free spinning pivots... Maybe that's what cows are thinking about. They're like, oh, God, free spinning pivots. Mind you, they, they lack, you know, thumbs and index fingers and stuff, so it's more of an academic discussion for them. But maybe cows are my greatest ally in terms of, like, population in the wars against free-spinning pivots. Maybe I need to, like, circulate a petition among cows. Get it on, like, the Constitution or something. Like, free-spinning pivots are hereby banned. Okay, guys, what the hell am I on about? So this is the channel that you are watching right now. For shame. Shame. But the knife is in great working condition here. Absolutely works well, opens beautifully, that the tent is stellar, sounds great. Alrighty, so there you go, um, that is your Minitherium, <laughs> and I uh, hope you enjoyed this disassembly video, <laughs> what the hell am I on about, and that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, I'm gonna go eat something, see if that makes me less of a goofy bastard, um, <laughs> bye everybody.